Hey, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music and vinyl reviews. And today we're gonna to be talking about some of the pickups I got from Record Store Day that were sold out. Let's check it out. So if you're new to my channel, I had a video called Record Store Day Vlog and Haul or whatever you wanna call it. This is just my experience going to Record Store Day 2019, what I picked up. I mentioned that some of the stores I went to were sold out of what I wanted. Uh, I did a quick search after Record Store Day and I found two other records that were part of Record Store Day 2019 and I got them below the list price, believe it or not, on eBay. Typically people jack the prices up sky high. I was lucky enough to get these two copies dirt cheap. So let's dive into what I picked up. This is the Soprano soundtrack. This is actually part two of the Soprano soundtrack. They already had one out. Uh, that had like the theme song and a few select ones. But this is more of a mix from every season. Has all kinds of cool stuff on it. Uh, this is a US copy, there's two copies, right? So Record Store Day UK, you get a blood splatter disc and for the US copy, it's called Booze and Prozac Splatter. So it starts off with a nice cover with all of the cast and this is a later picture of the cast. As we can see, uh, Tony Soprano's kids are a little more grown up in it. On the inside, we get this awesome photo of the family. Again, his kids are grown up, so this is the later seasons. And you can see the therapist in the window too, peeking in. Then on the back, we have all of the track listings. This is a double record, then we have all the credits here. The record is on something called Prozac and Booze Splatter. The nice green color with some, uh, I guess you could say browns splattered in there and some lighter greens. It looks really cool. I really dig it. Now, the soundtrack's pretty eclectic. I mean, you go from opera music to classic rock to just drum and bass. It's all over the place. If you're a Sopranos fan, this is something to have for sure. But if you're not a Sopranos fan, I mean, don't expect this to have any kind of natural flow. Then on the second disc, same splatter. And we have the Bada Bing, which is the strip club from the Sopranos. Has the full logo on there. And my favorite label is Side D, which is black. <laughs> it's just pitch black. If you're a Sopranos fan, you know the reference to the last episode. I mean, it cuts to black. We don't know what the hell happens. And with the Sopranos soundtrack on the inside, we get your credits. Something I would have loved to have seen with a lot of soundtracks for TV shows, it would be really nice if underneath the song, it told you what episode it was in. Uh, but that's the one thing I'd like to see, it's just an indicator, hey, this is the episode it's on. And on the back, again, black. It goes straight to black. There is a cool hidden Easter egg on this record. So if you listen to the last track, it says Dialogue from the Sopranos, and it's cut together dialogue. But if you listen towards the very end and just give it a second, it plays the Sopranos theme song at the very, very end, side D. So the next record I picked up that was sold out everywhere I went for Record Store Day 2019 is John Paul White's The Hurting Kind. If you're not familiar with John Paul White, he's the second half of the Civil Wars, has an amazing voice. He plays, I'd say, true old school country Americana, really kick back. There's some really nice slide guitar in there, really, really great acoustic guitars, and his voice is just, is just amazing. The way he, he breaks from full voice to falsetto, kind of like a subtle yodel. Um, it's just crazy. I don't know how he does it. My voice cracks every time I try it as a singer. Uh, so this is the Record Store Day release. There's a sticker here that lets you know. Uh, it comes with a 7-inch with two extra tracks on it. There's a thousand of these made. Here's the kicker though. I did some research and I talked to some people who had this record. It's basically the same exact release that he had for the album a few months back, because this did come out this year. but. It's not a different variant. There's nothing too special about it aside from the bonus seven inch. So I'm a little confused why he didn't just release the seven inch for Record Store Day like a lot of artists do. He included it with his album. So you kind of have to buy the album, get the seven inch. And I was on eBay looking for one of these because again, they sold out. And half the ones I saw on eBay were sold without the seven inch because people already bought the album and they just wanted the seven inch. So they buy this, take the seven inch out and resell it. So there really is not a whole lot to gain with the 12 inch on here, but the seven inch is really nice. So let's take a look at the package and what we get. John Paul White's pretty old school. 
and you can tell from the packaging, this is really old school. It says up here, a high fidelity stereo recording. It's like, okay, dude, it's 2019, it better be stereo. <laughs> so we open it up and we have an intro here, The Hurting Kind, with all of his thanks. Uh, he had the track listings here, some credits, and we flip it over. More song credits that go with it. He has some guest singers, some guest musicians on here. He credits them all. And if we open the actual record, it is just pressed on black to here. The coolest part though is the label. You know, he has a black and red theme for this album. And the label's on a matte finish. And it looks pretty cool with the black. I dig it. It's not 180 grams, it's probably like, I don't know, 120, 140. It sounds great though. I'm a firm believer that you don't need 180 gram to sound good. So now let's dive into the seven inch. So this was what came with the Record Story 2019 edition, which is this small seven inch here with two bonus tracks. Uh, first song is Loving the Day Away, and the second song is See If I Care. We flip it over here. Uh, there really wasn't much to it. It just comes in a white paper sleeve. It would have been nice if it came in its own like printed sleeve, but nonetheless, you get two bonus tracks. Sounds great. and. You also get your full download card, which a lot of the record store day releases did not come with download cards. So if you're gonna to listen to anything on this record, again, this is kind of a sad record. There are some good tracks on here that are a little more upbeat, uh, but my favorite track on this is My Dreams Have All Come True. It's very emotional, and the way that he portrays the emotion through his voice, it just comes through so clear. So check this one out. Check out The Sopranos, Pepper and Eggs, John Paul White, The Hurting Kind. Those are the two extra pickups I got. So check out my other videos. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe and leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. All right, thanks guys.